Color 5e Marine Genset has suddenly started surging with a period of a second or two. Putting the unit under load does not significantly change the surging. I removed the carb and it looked clean inside and out. Remove the bowl and sprayed the carb with cleaner, but did not disassemble the carb any further. Reinstallation resulted in the same surging behavior. Throttle and choke linkages are free and clear. Verified fuel is being delivered to the carb. Fuel filter is fresh. I noticed that the choke is manually fully closed, the surging stops. The engine does not run smoothly fully choked, but is not surging, and when choke is released, surging starts again. I still suspect the carburetor of a weak attempt to clean it. Unit has 600 hours. New plugs this season that worked well for a while. Please help. Hello, I'm Michelle and I'm a moderator for this topic. We have been working with our professionals to try to help you with your question. Sometimes it may take a bit of time to find the right fit. I was checking to see if you had already found your answer or if you still needing assistance from one of our professionals. Please let me know if you wish to continue waiting or if you would like for us to close your question. Also remember that Just Answer has a multitude of categories to help you with all your needs from pet to legal. Thank you, Michelle Moderator. Hello. Thank you for choosing Just Answer for the solution to your problem. My name is XXXXXXXXXX. I am going to assist you with this. This is a classic symptom of a carburetor that has become plugged with varnish. As gas gets old, it turns to varnish and clogs up the passageways inside the carburetor, not allowing enough gas to get to the engine. Today's gasoline formulation goes bad in as little as 30 days. This condition is cumulative. Every time gas sits, the varnish builds up just a little more, like coats of paint, until eventually gas cannot flow. It will not happen overnight, but the symptoms can show up all of a sudden, even while simply stopping to refill with gas. The use of fuel additives, such as stable or sea foam will not stop this process from happening. They will greatly slow it down, but the gas will still go bad. This can also happen even on a brand new engine or brand new carb. When the carb is built, it is run at the factory to tune it. After tuning, they do not always get properly cleaned or may not have enough slash any preservative injected. Believe it or not, this is actually fairly common. When this happens, either the engine simply will not start or it will not run without the choke on. This reduces the amount of air getting pulled into the engine, changing the fuel-slash-air mixture, or it will run but surges. Another issue that varnish in the carb can cause is that the varnish may not allow the float needle to seal properly against the seat, causing the flow of gas to not shut off when the bowl is full. The result will be gas overflowing the carb and running into the cylinder, and possibly out the air intake. If the gas gets into the cylinder, it will seep past the rings and down into the crankcase. This will be evidenced by your oil level being overfull and or the oil smelling like gas. If this is the case, you will need to change the oil and filter, if it has a filter. Varnish can also cause the float needle to stick shut, and not allow any gas to flow from the car bowl into the engine. The only two solutions are to either replace the carburetor or give it a good, thorough cleaning. When removing the carb, make sure to take a good picture, or make a good drawing of where all springs and linkages are attached. This will make reassembly much easier. 
Most people believe that cleaning a carb involves removing the bowl and wiping it out, then spraying some carb cleaner through it. This is simply insufficient. It takes months or years for this accumulation to build up, it just cannot be removed in minutes. To properly clean the carb, you must remove it, disassemble it, making sure to remove all non-metal parts, and soak it in a commercial solvent for several hours. Soaking it overnight is even better. Then clean all solvent off with a spray type carb cleaner, making sure to get lots of cleaner into every hole and passage there is. Pay special attention to the tiny holes in the bore of the carb, under the throttle plate for the carbs that have these holes. Use lots of cleaner. And make sure to wear safety goggles to avoid getting the overspray into your eyes. There will be overspray. Dry the carb with low pressure compressed air. When reassembling the carb, make sure to use a carb kit when one is available for your carb. Occasionally, even a good cleaning is not going to be sufficient, and you may end up having to replace the carb anyhow. Be prepared for this. If for some odd reason this does not help, please let me know so I can assist you further. It makes sense what you say. My half-hearted attempt at cleaning would not have cleaned deposits of varnish. They must not be immediately obvious to see inside the jet. I have decided to get a new carb and spend spare time cleaning the old one when it is not boating season. Will I be able to contact you if the new carburetor does not resolve the issue? Mark Culp Yes, you will still be able to get back with me. Please bear in mind that I meant it when I said that sometimes even a good cleaning will not do it, and you still end up needing to replace the carb. In my shop, I don't even try to clean them anymore, the rate of failure is way too high. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.